sound. We've got sound on our side. Let's look over there. Oh, uh, we've got sound back. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? A big, beautiful tom uh, laying about in a fig tree. Uh, he looks quite well fed. Now, this is one of the reasons I'm so excited to spend quite a bit of time in the Salas area, is the leopards around the Sand River and the Kikarok River are prolific. And he's looking like he's had a very good meal. He is a very good-looking boy. Yes, you are. Adult. Quickly across to James. Oh, quickly, there we are. A little leopard female running into the woodland. Two leopards in this amount of time? Unbelievable. We're not going to follow this one. Of course, she's much too nervous. But isn't it nice to see that they are around? This is virtually Sabi Sands leopard numbers there. All right, well, we're going to continue up the escarpment. I just wanted to quickly show you that. I'm not sure. Should we go back to Brent or should we just continue? Let's go back to Leo Smith and his leopard. Okay. Coming to us. Oh, we're back, we're back, we're back. Uh, James's leopard is, was not as chilled as our leopard, who you can see is a very relaxed boy. Now, what I'm going to do, he is a bit far away, but he's on the other side of a little lugger. I am planning to get there, but it is quite a long journey. Um, we'll see if we can get a little bit closer. So, guys, we're going to need you to help us uh, to keep an, a record and ID of all the leopards we're going to find, because we are going to find a few. So get some screenshots, see if you find any distinctive spots, try get a facial spot pattern. Now I said he's a big he's a big boy. He's not old yet. I'd say he's probably between six um six and six and eight years old. May yeah, six and eight years old. So he's more than certainly the dominant male in this area. Yes. It looks almost looks like he's grumpy with us. Oh, that no, could just be tight. You can see those eyes drooping. Oh, He is gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to try to get a little bit closer to him, see if we can maneuver our way next to the little little river. So it sounds like everyone is very excited. I'm very excited in this. It's go Hang on a second. Where are my binoculars now? I think I spotted something else. Binoculars. There you are. Oh, trickery of the trees. I almost thought there was a second leopard in the tree behind him, but <laughs> unluckily not. Okay, we're going to try to get a little bit of a better view, try to get you some better close-ups um, for some screenshots of his face so we can start working out our IDs um, on the different leopards in this area. Oh, he's coming down the tree. Look at that. Look at that stretch. Now we can see how hungry he is. Oh, isn't that magnificent? Oh, he's not starving. But he could definitely eat. You might hear the pitter patter of a little bit of drizzle. Hey, big boy, where are you off to? Okay, let's try and keep up. So he might have a kill. Oh, he's going into the lugger. And as I said, it could be quite a long trip around. He should be popping out to the right slightly now, Manny. There we go, spot on. Right, let's just have a quick look in there if he's got a kill. Now, we're just in... The problem with the leopards is we are in a little lugger, so I have lost communication with Final Control. I'm letting them know. I'm just going to go in, see if we can see if he's got some food, and then I'll move back out a bit where I can talk to you again, Kirsten. So there he is. Oh, he's beautiful.
Roshni. Oh, I've got Kirsten's comms back. Says he reminds her of Anderson. Don't think he's quite as big as our Mr. Anderson. I'm going to try and go a little bit further forward, but he's definitely a beautiful big boy. Let's make sure he's got no food in here. Oh dear, guys, it is um, starting to rain a little bit heavier. We might actually have to pop down our rain covers. And he has dropped down into the river system. So we're not going to get a view from here. Let's try again from a little bit further back. See if I can spot him. Now, I don't think he's moving because of us. Uh, these leopards along these rivers around here are very relaxed uh, and very used to vehicles. I think he's just decided it's time to move. It could be the rain that started pelting him while he was up in the tree. And he might be looking for a little bit of a protection from the wind and the rain on this closest bank of the river. He might just be have gone down to have a drink. Okay. Any sign of him yet? Let's try from down here. No, I think he's gone into those thickets. He's hiding from the rain. That's what he's up to. Um, I think we're going to have to do the same. I'm just going to move a little bit away from where he is so we don't give him any frights while we deal with the rain that is pelting us at the moment. So the first trick about dealing with rain is to put your bum to it. And that way our covers and stuff don't flap so much in the wind when we have to put them down. Uh, I, I don't have comms with Kirsten. I'm not sure what's going on. So, Kirsty, I'm just going to say goodbye while we deal with our rain covers. And I'm not sure who we're going to just now.